right there at the end of my tool there's a bee being born right there just there there's so many there's been so many of these little bloody beetles little um ladybugs must be attracted to the white they all came on when it was out on the line drying out and they probably can't get out because it's a bee suit <laughs> um so i haven't looked at the haven't done any inspection on these for a few weeks now and i've just been waiting there hasn't been um a lot of activity in the the top heart like in the flow hive in the super um storing honey so we'll we're gonna have a look at it today there's been bees up there through the middle of the day i was encouraged um earlier this week because you can see in the windows on the side of the flow hive i was encouraged this week to see there was actually quite a few bees up in top there i think one of the best things about doing beekeeping and hive inspections in the middle of summer is that you've got this wonderful fly barrier <laughs> it's there for the bees but by god we get a lot of flies here <laughs> just thought of something else good about having this camera here i can make sure my zippers are done up properly just by looking in the, the viewfinder there look here you may see it if we're quick enough right there at the end of my tool there's a bee being born right there just there see it coming out of the honeycomb just here it's halfway out right there at the end come on keep coming little one nearly 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 so close that's cool i haven't seen this before there's actually three of them coming out. There's one there at the end of the comb. There's one over here that's its head sticking out and one in front of this one that's out that's being being born as well. There she is, all the way out now. This one right here. That's so cool, I haven't seen that before. So much brood in this. This hive is doing really, really, really well. I'm super happy with how this is going. We'll box this one up and we'll have a look at the flow hive. With these windows here, these are just great to give you a quick glance as to what on earth is going on. And you see there's a few bees in there. And you see like some down the edges there have got heads in the, uh, in the comb. If I take off the back here where the harvesting happens, yeah, there's a few bees in there. There's not heaps. Mm, bucket loads of work. There's still, there's lots of bees up here at least, which is good. And you can see the, the propolis around here. They've started to at least attempt to put it down, I guess. And this is what the flow hive looks like in between all the frames up here with uh, these hives all stuck together or anything. I don't think I, I might pull the outside one first and we'll see. I'm just not expecting too much out of this. which is good because I'm not disappointed. <laughs> There's really not much happening there at all on that outside one. So I'll just sit him over there. I wouldn't mind having a look at the, just my jump straight to the inside ones. That's where I, in my head I'm thinking these ones should have, if they're, these ones should be more advanced in the production, I guess. I wouldn't be disappointed if there's nothing happening here. It's still very early. Yeah, there's not much happening there at all. Although some of those frames there have got quite a bit of wax in there. So they're, they're busy doing something. So what I'll do, I'll take off the uh, super, I'll set it over there and we'll have a look into the hive itself. Wow. <laughs> it's always cool to look at this and see just how many bees we've got going on here. There's a bit of Bit of cross combing happening here, which we might need to just sort out. I don't think she's there anywhere. I don't see her anywhere there. <clears throat> so we'll do the same thing. We'll start from one side, go through to the other. Let's have a quick look at this beetle trap. No, there's nothing in there. No beetles. That's not to say they're not in here. They're just not in there in the trap. 
Oh, wow, these are tight together. Well, I've got a feeling this hive's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a pain to deal with as time goes on because, um, because of the cross combing that we've got going on in this one. This was a rescue hive, rescue colony, I should say. And uh, with the cross combing that we've got, it can be hard to remove frames and install frames. Wow, there's a lot of honey in there. I think I'm on the money as far as when to put that super on. It seems to be certainly no larvae in there, but they've certainly built it up pretty well. This is all honey in here. So I think the super is the right time. I'll have a quick look at the, the rest of the frames. It's certainly a very active colony. Don't you go sitting on my microphone, Mr. B. Mrs. B, whatever you are. Yeah, lots of honey in here. Lots of brood. It's doing pretty well. I think what I'll do as I go, I'll just get rid of some of this, this cross combing. I might actually keep that for, for traps. One day, soon enough, there's a fellow locally who knows so much more than I do about bees. And I'm hoping to get him out here and we'll do a bit of an inspection of this hive, maybe the other one, just to, to get a second opinion sort of thing, to make sure that I am doing what I need to be doing correctly. Yeah, it's not growing dead straight, but again, this is with the rubber bands on here, that tells me that this is a, uh, these are the frames where we pulled the, um, the honeycomb out of the, the original hive where they were in a tree stump. So I've got a feeling this is always going to be this way. I don't know if that's the case. I'm just assuming that it is. Is that the way it came out? Um, no, that's not the way it came out. It came out that way. I always like to put these things back how I found them. The bees, I like to think the bees know what they're doing better than I do. <clears throat> so that capped queen cell would, to me is, is actually a new queen in there. There's another one here. Lid on. And then the roof and the doors on the side and we're good. Helps if you put it on the right way. Put doors on the sides. Girls are not happy out there. They didn't like having their box opened up. That's it. Well, that went reasonably well. Tell you what, bloody hot at the moment. Went. Reasonably well, I think. Um, my God, there's some flies here now. I'll tell you what, after you take off all of your um, your veil and everything, after listening to bees buzzing all around your head and taking it off and hearing flies, it kind of freaks you out a little bit. <laughs> the first time it happened, I uh, I just didn't, didn't take my veil off for ages until Sarah was near me and I said, can you just check? Because I think there's bees on me. But I'm, I'm not sure, I think what I've got to do now is, because I just don't know uh, what to do about those queen cups, the queen cells, those vertical cells, because there's three, I think, three or four in there, and they're all capped up, um, which means they'll hatch soon enough, and I don't know if that means that the queens will all just fight it out until the death, or one of the new ones might take 
half the colony away and go somewhere else. I'm just not sure. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how the other one's going. I, to be honest, maybe with all, how all of it's going, I, I wasn't sure if we were going to get honey this season or not. I was certainly well prepared not to. And that still may be the case yet. We'll see. But uh, overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with how that is. I'm not sure what to do with the, uh, with the cross combing. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'm killing bees as I pull them in and out. And the last thing we want is for the queen to die while I'm doing that. So I'm not 100% not sure on what to do. I did get some advice on those queen cups, the queen cells. And what, what I was told is they are probably just running out of room a bit in the bottom because all those frames are full. And Kate suggested if there's any frames that are just full of honey, and there's, there is, there's a couple there, maybe take them out and put an empty frame in there so they can keep filling with brood. So I've actually done that. I've taken out um, one of those honey frames and wiped all the bees off it and put it into the other hive. It's just full of honey. And then put um, one of the, the clean, fresh waxed frames. I've basically put it in the middle of the brood box on the flow hive. And what I'm hoping to do is, one, if, it's a, if the queens uh, uh, are being hatched because there's not enough room, hopefully that will resolve it. But I think the queens, when they do hatch, they'll fight it out and the, and the best one will, will win the day anyway. But by putting a blank frame in there, what I'm hoping to do is all that cross combing that's happening, I'm hoping that'll, if I do this over time, I'm hoping that it'll kind of sort itself out. So that's where it's up to. I'll check it again in another week or so and hopefully it's all, it's all hunky-dory. Catch you later.